Girl's dad brings home a strange puppy, but quickly gathers that it's not really a dog at all. There are few experiences more exciting for children than the moment that a parent brings home a new pet. It's a truly unforgettable moment, especially because their lives often change significantly after that. For Haley Hannestead, however, that would have been quite the understatement. Her father brought home a new pet unexpectedly one day, but what the animal actually was became an even bigger surprise. A few years ago, when young Haley Hannestead was just five years old, her father Rick surprised the whole family by bringing home a baby animal who seemed to be in desperate need of care. Having grown up in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Haley and her family were already well accustomed to interacting with the area's broad variety of wildlife on a regular basis, so taking this little fella in was only natural. However, the adorable pet wasn't everything he seemed to be at first. His small stature and resemblance to a puppy tricked most of the Hannestead family into thinking it was a dog, but that was far from the truth. Turns out this was actually a baby coyote. Instead of turning the wild animal over to authorities, the Hannesteads decided to keep the abandoned baby as a pet, and boy, did that create quite an interesting home life. The family agreed to name the coyote Wiley. Sound familiar? Well, it was inspired by Wiley E. Coyote, the classic Looney Tunes character best known for his endless attempts to catch that elusive roadrunner. Though the Hannesteads were aware of coyotes' reputations and used to being around wild animals, nothing could have prepared them for the antics of Wiley the Coyote. He was certainly not a common pet, to say the least, and his playing style was a bit rough. Still, it was clear from the beginning that Wiley and the daughter Haley were going to be inseparable. At the same time, no one could have anticipated such a near-flawless transition from the wild to domesticated life. Wiley's behavior was becoming more calm and collected every day. In just a short period of time, Haley and Wiley did almost everything in the company of one another, and it certainly didn't take long for just about everyone around them to notice. From the first day he was brought home by her father, Haley and Wiley played, snuggled, and hung out together, just like any little girl would with a loyal pet dog. While plenty of people would be understandably skeptical about the very idea of adopting a wild predator, it appeared that this family had gotten lucky in bringing Wiley into their home. However, that didn't mean there weren't challenges. Wiley didn't much like to bathe himself, which was a strange trait for a coyote. In the wild, mother coyotes teach their pups how to properly clean themselves. Perhaps Wiley never got the chance. Wiley also outright refused to eat raw meat. He preferred his meals to be cooked. That's unheard of among other coyotes, who are used to hunting and scavenging everything they come across. Thankfully, the coyote has never made an attack on another member of the new family, but what is it that he does eat? Well, they keep him on an unusual diet that consists of mostly venison and fried eggs. Wiley eventually became almost exactly like any other domesticated dog. Not only that, but it was as if he actually enjoyed being held like a pet. Just look at how natural he is in front of the camera. The Hannesteads took Wiley on walks just like any other dog too, though they couldn't walk along their neighborhood suburban streets. Luckily, the family lived near a large forest where they could go on long adventures together. Wiley also had his very own enclosure outside the house that included plants and even a burrowing hole. It was designed to closely resemble a natural coyote habitat. Whenever he got too riled up or needed a break, he could be found out there taking it all in. Despite his affectionate demeanor, it's important to remember that Wiley was still a wild animal at heart, so having that outdoor space was absolutely necessary. Of course, once he'd return home, he'd like to plop down on the couch and relax. While researchers have noted that wild animals aren't typically well-suited to lead domesticated lives, Wiley was certainly an exception. Now Haley had the ultimate excuse for school. She can tell teachers the coyote ate her homework. If you don't believe that a coyote could make a well-behaved, lovable pet, just wait until you see how Wiley interacts with his family. He may not be a dog, but that doesn't change the fact he's a very good boy. It's important to remember that wildlife should typically not be kept as pets in a family home. However, the Hannesteads have clearly gone to great lengths to make sure that Wiley's needs are taken care of. Now, he's just another member of the family. Share this adorable story with your friends who love animals.